In this video, I will explain the function of binary expression systems in Drosophila. Binary expression systems allow scientists to investigate the complex spatiotemporal expression pattern of genes of interest. They also allow scientists to investigate the role of specific proteins by allowing for the increase or knockdown of protein expression in specific cells. Because this is a binary expression system, we know that it will consist of two independent pieces, which are a transactivator and a reporter. So we start with two lines of flies. The first line, called the driver line, contains a p-element insertion that encodes a transactivator, a protein that serves to activate expression of another gene. This transactivator will be under the influence of a native promoter or enhancer, and it will only be expressed in cells of the organism in which the enhancer is active. For example, if the transactivator is under the control of a promoter that is only active in insulin-producing cells, which we call IPCs, then the transactivating protein will only be expressed in those cells and not elsewhere in the organism. The second line of flies, called the reporter line, has a different p-element insertion containing a reporter gene. This reporter, or target gene, will only be active when the transactivator protein binds to it. So when you cross these two lines of flies, you get a generation of flies that contains both the transactivator and the reporter. Now we remember that the transactivator is under the control of a native enhancer, so it will only be expressed in tissues in which the enhancer is active. In those tissues of this new fly, the transactivator will then promote the expression of the reporter gene. This means that only in these specific tissues, the reporter will be expressed. Now, how does this help us achieve our goal of understanding spatiotemporal expression of certain genes? We can track the activity of this enhancer by observing the expression pattern of the reporter gene. A popular reporter is GFP, which encodes green fluorescent protein. Cells in which GFP is expressed will glow. So cells that have this enhancer active will glow, and cells in which this enhancer is not active will not glow. Once you know where and when this enhancer is active, you can use a different reporter line to allow you to investigate cell and gene function in those specific cells. You can do this by crossing the driver line with a new reporter line. Say you have a driver line that expresses the transactivator in a specific subset of neurons because the enhancer controlling that transactivator is active there. You can cross this driver line with a reporter line containing channel rhodopsin, which encodes proteins that will control the firing of a neuron when activated by light. This will allow you to manipulate neuron activity using light. Another possibility is to cross your driver line with a reporter line that expresses the gene Reaper. When expressed, this gene will kill the cell. So the cells will die if or when the enhancer that is controlling the expression of the transactivator is active. You could also cross this driver line with a reporter line that encodes short hairpin RNA that's used to knock down the expression of a specific gene through RNA interference. This will allow you to decrease expression of target genes in the specific cells that have the active transactivator, giving you a glimpse into the role of that gene in the specific cell. As you can see, mobilizing transactivators in the genome under tissue-specific enhancers or promoters allows you to then manipulate gene expression in those tissues to better understand the role of the cells and the genes expressed in those tissues. Now, why do we use binary expression systems instead of just mobilizing a single P element containing the transactivator and the reporter? As you could see earlier, there are many different reporter lines that contain different genes that give you different advantages in the manipulation of your organism. 
Furthermore, there are many different driver lines that have transactivators under the control of different tissue-specific promoters or enhancers. Having this system separated into a driver line controlled by a known promoter that can be paired with any number of reporter lines gives you flexibility in how you manipulate gene expression and cell function in those specific cells in which the transactivator is active. Modularity gives you flexibility. Having a separate driver and reporter line allows you to mix and match drivers and reporter depending on your experimental needs. So those are your basics for understanding binary expression systems. If you're interested in learning about specific systems, check out my video on the GAL4 UAS and Lexay Lexay Op systems. If you're interested in how these systems can be used at the same time, check out my videos discussing GRASP and signaling epistasis experiments.